And hello everyone, and today we have an informative lively video or a vlog informative one, I haven't decided. But the fact itself is that today there will be live footage and interesting information. I visited competitions in men's rhythmic gymnastics and talked with athletes, coaches and founders of the sport. So today in this video we will fall in love with men's rhythmic gymnastics and dispel the myth that it is not a men's sport. Well, before you start the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so not to miss new videos. Staying in bed, thinking back on us and everything that went wrong. Never said goodbye, think I broke your trust, should've known this all along. Don't wanna be the one that you're trying to avoid. I'm feeling so confused, why did I act so annoyed? Cause Я приехала в Кандапогу на соревнования по мужской художественной гимнастике. Это просто что-то невероятное. Здесь безумно красивый зал, очень красивая природа, это Карелия. И, в общем, познакомимся сегодня поближе с мужской художественной гимнастикой. Я посмотрю каждый день. Привет! The all Russian competitions in men rhythmic gymnastics were held in Kandapoga, where I came to get to know the sport better. I will probably start with my impression. So far as you remember, for a wider audience, the boys performed this year at the Russian tournament and the championship of Russia, where we actually began to acquaint it with them. After that, I really wanted to attend one of the boys' trainings, although this hasn't happened yet, but I was lucky enough to get an invitation to the competition, which in fact turned to be even cooler. Now, men's gymnastics in Russia and I think in the world is at the origins, which means it will be very interesting to see how it will develop and what will happen to it in the future and how popular it will become. Well, we have the opportunity to monitor its development from the inside. The third official competitions of the all-Russian level were held in Kandapoga in order for men's gymnastics to develop and coaches could be able to take boys more often. Competitions are still being done together for men and women, so that is convenient for coaches to take all of their children to one place and not to be torn. In fact, it's like the artistic gymnastics. At the moment, men's treatment gymnastics is actively developing in Karelia, Tatarstan, St. Petersburg, Rostov region, Hantemansisk Autonomous Okrug, Altai and Chilabinsk. Athletes from the last two regions didn't reach this tournament. After all, it's still a young sport and support of the sport is not always on a high level. After the last Russian tournament and the championship of Russia, there was an increase of people in the groups of men's rhythmic gymnastics. More and more interested people began to appear. And this is not surprising. While the sport isn't popular, it means more likely to get to major competitions. Well, it's quite unique because it mixes plasticity, male strength and agility, martial arts and also choreography. At the moment, the ceiling for athletes is a candidate of master of sports. While, unfortunately, there is no composition of the Russian national team in men's rhythmic gymnastics, I think the desire to get into national team would motivate more people to engage in the sport. In any case, the guys who performed as seniors, I think we can call them like that. Now everyone knows each other and in fact they are all leaders and the start of the world gymnastics. Bulat Singatulin, a multiple championship of Russia in men's rhythmic gymnastics, representing the Republic of Tatarstan, won the competition in Kandapoga. <laughs> The second place was shared by Artur Murinov, representing Moscow. And Gleb Galkovsky from the Republic of Karelia. Besides gymnastics, by the way, Gleb also writes songs and he recently released a fresh one. I will leave it in the description for anyone who is interested. Well, Roman Svetogor won the bronze. <laughs> Thank you. 
probably the main star of men's rhythmic gymnastics in Russia, who is no longer performing, is Alexander Buklov, the world champion in men's rhythmic gymnastics. He is one of those who is now actively engaged in the development of gymnastics in Russia. In 2015, the discipline was officially registered, and the boys began to compete according to the, all of the rules. This is how the all-round individual apparatus and group exercise appeared. There are also mixed pairs, in general, what people could only fantasize about before is now a real sport. In 2017, for the first time, couples performed at rhythmic gymnastics competition in Penza on the competitions called Hopes of Russia. The VFAG contributed to the world seeing these performances. Of course, it was a shock then and even now not everyone is used to it, but I think gradually it will become something ordinary. At the moment, men get into men's rhythmic gymnastics in several ways. The first is when they are taken from acrobatics or artistic gymnastics. Someone is just interested in a new sport. Someone understands that nothing can be achieved in their sport and tries something new. And of course, there are guys who are raised from the scratch in rhythmic gymnastics. There is a video on my channel where I told about the history of men's rhythmic gymnastics. And there we just analyzed two directions of men's rhythmic gymnastics. The first one is Spanish, which is identical to ours, women's gymnastics, and Japanese, which is more similar to martial arts. The second direction is developing in Russia. Of course, the Russian school has its own mixture and, in fact, its own school of men's rhythmic gymnastics is being born here. As in the women's schools of Bulgaria, Ukraine, Russia, and other countries differ from each other, so in fact the same thing is happening here right now. Well, let's take a look at how and what works here. I think we'll talk about this in a more detailed way, but for now we'll just go through the basics. Men's rhythmic gymnastics is based on the three pillars, working with apparatus, choreography and acrobatics. Working with apparatus is like in women's rhythmic gymnastics, with one difference is that there are different apparatus here. So rope and hands free exercise as in women's gymnastics. There are also two clubs, but they are much bigger and more like circus one. The rings, they are something similar to our hoop, but only smaller and there are two pieces of them. And the cane, it can be drawn by analogy with our ribbon, but only without the ribbon. There are also wrists masteries and work with the elements. Choreography, as in our gymnastics, dance tracks, the beauty of the performance, the smoothness of movements, the reflection of music, and all other things that are difficult to evaluate, but which look insanely beautiful on the carpet. While acrobatics is like in the artistic gymnastics, acrobatic tracks, and these incredible things that are fascinating. The most famous gymnast in the world is Kohi Ogawa. If you look at his performances, it looks really very cool and aesthetically pleasing. I at least stuck to a few of his performances, so I think such stars definitely prove it, that the sport is tenacious and mature. Well, I personally hope that 
all of this will develop into international competition and Russian athletes will start traveling to other countries and different athletes will come to Russia. Well, a few of my impressions. I honestly fell in love with the sport when I watched it, it right from the gym. Men fascinated me with acrobatics, plasticity and in fact as in dancing you admire how boys own their body, interesting work with apparatus of which some gymnasts can envy. Of course, as with girls, it is much more pleasant to look at adult seniors and you look at young athletes because it's interesting what will grow out of them. But in general, I have positive impressions. This turned out to be a very interesting direction for me and I'm sure that I will continue to talk about it with you. So write in the comments, do you like such rhythmic gymnastics or should I convince you that it's cool? Well, those who are not, I will continue to look for a few ways to do this. In any case, remember that I love you all very much and bye bye for now.